Hey, this is Daniel Norton. I'm here in my studio in New York City with Susanna. And I'm gonna show you guys what is probably one of the simplest beauty lighting setups you could possibly do. Uh, we're gonna use one light, really, really easy, works for pretty much everybody. Um, I've got Susanna here, and you can probably see above her head, and really close to her actually, is a silk, a scrim gym silk, which is a six foot uh, silk. Uh, it's on C stands, but really all this is, is a big diffuser. So if you're just starting out and you're on a lower budget or whatever, you could get a sheer or a, 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 even a bed sheet, you know, as long as it's neutral in color, and put it overhead. The idea here is we're just creating a large area of light. I'm gonna use my Profoto light here, and again, it could be the sun if you're outside. So this is the Profoto B1X, uh, fitted with their magnum reflector, just to give me a little more control. Um, I'm gonna raise it up, and the idea is I'm raising it up just like you would. I'm trying to replicate more or less what the sun would be. So. I've got it here pointed down on her. And again, this light source is tremendously large, tremendously close to her. Um, I'm tethered to here in the Capture One, got my Canon. Um, one of the first things that you always do though, since we are in studio, is I have the lights turned off right now and I'm just gonna make a frame and make sure that it's black. And it is. Okay, so that means none of the light in the studio is affecting my shot. I'm shooting at a 5.6 at 250th of a second, uh, ISO 100. And now I'm gonna turn the flash on, it's in TTL. I'm gonna come in nice and close. Beautiful, boom. All right, nice and easy. And again, I'm in TTL, so I'm gonna take a peek, see if I like it. Looks pretty good, it looks a smidge dark to me. Uh, since I am only using one light, I'm gonna, on the camera adjust it, I'm gonna bring it up a tiny bit. Maybe work your chin up as a smidge, there we go. And there we go, nice and simple, clean light on the face, good exposure, right? Cleans up the skin, I mean, look at how perfect that skin looks. Really, really nice and easy, right? Now, normally, um, you might add reflectors or fill or whatever, but the way that I like to do this actually is not to have my model stand like this, but rather sit. So if you were to sit for me, she's gonna sit down on the ground and I'm going to lower the scrim gym. I've got Dave here on the other side, thanks Dave. And we're gonna bring this down. Now the idea here is again, we're putting it really close to her to create this large area of light. Now the reason why I'm having her sit down isn't because you know, she wants to rest or whatever, it's because I have a white floor in the studio. And if I'm by myself, or I don't wanna lug a bunch of extra stands or whatever, that becomes my reflector. Now again, if you're outside or you're doing this whatever in your house, you could just uh, throw another, something white on the ground. Basically the idea is we're just gonna get bounce from the floor. So I'm gonna come in here. Also, this is the kind of thing I used to do as a kid with, you know, hide under the fort, right? Okay, good. And again, we're testing it again. Nice and clean and we can see that we've got that nice bounce coming up. So even with her chin lower, We've got the shadows filled in nicely. You can see the difference here. Here's the first one and this one. So this one's a little bit more dramatic. This one's got a little more fill, nice and soft. We'll shoot a few like that. Now that I know I'm in there, I can just, you know, I'm using, actually I'm using TTL. I'm gonna switch to manual. One of the things you can do at Profoto is once you've locked down your exposure, you can switch to manual and it will stay locked in. Yep, stayed locked in, perfect. Uh, and this way I don't have to keep looking back at the computer because it's pretty far away. And we can work, and the chin-up's gonna give us more contrast. Good, good, beautiful. Now if I wanted more, um, more shadow, more contrast, bring your chin up a little bit, um, what I would do is add something black to the ground here. Chin, chin up a tiny bit, good. Right, it really depends on your subject and how their face is. Good, that's really pretty. Now, you can also use this, just because I'm crawling back here anyways, is I can also shoot it because it's lighting our whole body. It's one advantage using a large light source is I can now shoot a wider shot as well, if I like. And again, she'll be nice and lit up. We can totally do this all day long, really simple. And again, this is just a, a more of a concept, right? You can do all kinds of things with this. We could shoot so many different things with this big overhead light. Right there, I'm getting it in the shot, but good. Nice. Nice and simple. 
you know, I could do a white wall too if I wanted to. I decided to use this wood because it's kind of uh, got some pattern on it, like her stripey, uh, stripey outfit, so I thought that'd be pretty cool. So one last one. This is the big one. You ready? This is the important one. <laughs> Good. All right, here we go. She's got the attitude. She's ready. There we go. There we go. Nice and simple. Right, one more. Good, like that. Good. Good, like that. One more. Now, let me do one more close one for the beauty so you guys can see. Crawling under here. This is what we do as photographers. And remember that all, always with beauty, you're going to end up doing retouching and stuff to it, but the less you have to do, the better. So you always want your light to be nice and clean. Keep life simple. Right there, right there, perfect. Awesome. All right, quickly look at them. That looks pretty good to me. So remember, this is just all about using the size of light. It's basic photography concept, simple, large light source. This scrim could be a cloudy day. This scrim could be a bed sheet. It could be a huge soft box, but all the concept here is that controlled big soft light, kind of a wall of light coming from above with a massive bounce on the ground, which is our floor. And again, the floor could be a reflector on the ground. Well, whatever you want. The idea is the same. So this is super simple. You can use whatever tools you want to do this look. Um, be sure to follow Susanna on social media. We'll put the information in the description. Be sure to follow me on here on YouTube and on Facebook, Daniel Norton Photographer. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, and I'll see you next time on set.